the real challenge that this whole theory, and this is new stuff, is what about actually preempting osteoarthritis in these patients by grabbing these kids when they're 16 or 19 or 22? Can we really imagine doing a corrective operation in somebody who is completely asymptomatic, maybe playing sports, construction work, very active lives, not yet painful, but if we don't catch them early, maybe they will develop osteoarthritis. This is an important quandary that nobody has an answer to yet. We're really waiting for the results, and it may take 10 or 20 years of of waiting till the person becomes symptomatic to find out how those results go before, before taking it to the next level and imagining screening kids for this at younger age. And remember what, what this whole, and this, this operation for this CAM lesion is, is part of a bigger category called joint preservation. And joint preservation techniques are becoming every bit as important as joint replacement. But it really just changes the, 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 the location on the curve. If you're getting a hip replacement in 2020, that means your hip arthritis was starting somewhere back in here, 10 or 12, and now would be the time to do a joint preserving operation. But you may not even be hurting back here. So in fact, this doesn't alter really the demands on either the, the surgery, the surgeon uh, population, or the demands on the, on the uh, uh, medical uh, finance or cost side of the equation, it would still, it would, if, even if we caught all these people early, it would still be very expensive and we still may not have the manpower to cover it. I really like this diagram. It's a really modern diagram of that, that evolutionary biologists use today, and it is no longer, they don't use the tree idea anymore that things are evolving toward a unified goal. In fact, the central idea now is that evolution promotes diversity, that plants are evolving in their own direction, animals in their own direction, and in fact, that's really what's happening with these, these operations, joint preservation procedures are evolving and multiplying. There will be more and more different types of, of operations in our armamentarium that don't include hip replacement. Hip resurfacing will continue to evolve and there will be variants and different options along that line and then conventional hip replacement will continue to evolve this way. I'm sure there's some young, young woman or young man sitting in a Georgia Tech or Clemson classroom right now working on a way to to change the embryology or to change the developmental shape of the head with non-interventional means to get and eliminate osteoarthritis back even, even sooner. <clears throat>